Welcome back to Couch Talk, everybody. I'm Joe, and today we're here to talk about the new trailer for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. This is the sequel to the Fantastic Beasts <clears throat> and Where to Find the movie that came out two years ago. This is directed by uh, David Yates, who directed the last one and a couple of the original Harry Potter movies, and he's also directing the next three after The Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, he's sticking around for the long haul, so, I mean, hopefully you like his style, because... We're stuck with him for a while. Everyone's back. Newt Scamander, played by Eddie Raymane, uh, Redman, I think that's how you say it. Dan Vogler's back as Jacob. Catherine Waterstein as Tina. Ezra Miller as Credence. Zoe Kravitz as, um, <clears throat> excuse me, still uh, a little sick. Letta Lestrange. And then we have the newcomers, Johnny Depp as Gellert Grindelwald and uh, Jude Law as Albus Dumbledore. Uh, so the first trailer for this movie excited me more than the first trailer for the first Fantastic Beasts movie. Uh, I was a little disappointed by the trailers, and then I was also a little disappointed by the movie. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the movie, but it didn't feel as magical as <clears throat> all the Harry Potters and the world that immersed you in. And, I mean, I think part of the problem was that it took place in New York, and a lot of the wizardry had to be hidden, whereas in, in all the Harry Potter movies, you go to the school, and, like, every other scene is something magical happening. So... Not getting that constant feel of magic. Um, you almost forget at some points that you're watching a Harry Potter movie because you go these long uh, periods of time without it. And I was afraid that this movie was going to follow suit, but this movie was nothing but magic from start to finish. And I hope that carries over into the entire movie because I want to feel like I'm back in that world again and that was missing the first time around. But again, this movie looks uh, fun. You get a little Nagini or Nagini reference, which is Voldemort's snake. Uh, you see that it is a woman and not a man. I don't know why I always thought it was a man, but uh, you actually see her transform into this snake uh, when she's in that like circus thing. And it, and it looks like Ezra Miller is also somehow in the circus because you kind of see him in like a little bit of a cage. Uh, Johnny Depp looks phenomenal as the villain, Grindelwald. And um, it really looks like for one of the first times in a while he's actually acting. I felt like he was kind of honing it in in Black Mass and Pirates of the Caribbean, but it seems like he's really trying this time around. And I saw a couple of people saying like, oh, well, he's trying because his career is kind of almost over from like that whole uh, controversy going around the fact that he punched a guy on the set of his last canceled movie, uh, City of Lies, which is super sad because I wanted to see that. But um, that's not true because he was doing this movie before all that happened. I think he just really cared about the source material for this. And he's playing such a big character. <clears throat> and I mean, I feel like, you know, seeing all the Harry Potters, you always knew that there was going to be this big climactic battle between him and Voldemort. And that's what you're getting out of this. Like, you know from the lore of all this that Jude Law's character, Albus Dumbledore, and uh, Johnny Depp's character, Grindelwald, have a big, epic battle. Um, you always kind of heard about it, but we never really really heard about it like it was always like rumors and like little snippets here and there uh and that's what really all this is leading up to and obviously he's gonna have the help of newt's commander and this is just the journey to that very epic battle that we're eventually going to get to see in the last one of these and as for jude law playing albus dumbledore uh he looks great i mean he definitely has the charisma for it you don't get a whole lot of him in the trailer so i can't really gauge how well he's gonna do but it definitely seems like they're putting a lot of the focus on johnny depp's character which is good because um i think this guy needs a break uh, I'm one of the few people that are a little upset about everything that's going on around him. Now I understand why it's happening, but um, I still think he's a good actor, and I would still like to see him in some movies, and a lot of people are like rooting for this to fail because he's in it. And I mean, a lot of people on the set of City of Lies said that people are overreacting, he's not as bad as he is, and I don't know if they're lying, you know, because they want this movie to get released so they can make their money or what the case is, but even J.K. Rowling said that he's been nothing but a pleasure. So I hope that the whole, you know, outcry about him, which again is totally understandable, doesn't derail this movie and make it, you know, unsuccessful, because it is still a Harry Potter movie, and, you know, there's a lot of love for this source material, so I'm just hoping that it does really well. And from the looks of the trailer, it does look really good. It, you know, it looks like it's going to immerse you back into all the magic. It looks like there's going to be some badass action in it. Uh, looks like there's a lot of heart, and J.K. Rowling is again back to pen the script itself. There's no middleman. Like, you know, she wrote all the books, but then they had, like, other script writers come in and adapt it for the movies. Well, this, she's adapting it for the movies. There's no middleman, so it's coming straight from her mind. So, I think it's going to be better than the first one. Uh, I think this trailer is better than the first trailer for this movie, and I think this trailer 
is better than any trailer that was out for the original movie. I gotta say, the only disappointment I have is that um, the trailer didn't give me any more of Jacob. Um, he's a really funny fat guy from the first one that's like Newt's friend. I would have liked to see more of that guy. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for this movie? Did you like the first one? What do you think of the two new characters, Johnny Depp and uh, Jude Law? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you next time.